Jurassic Park movies have a lot of scientifically accurate factual stuff in them, but they also have a lot of stuff that is more the fiction part of science fiction. My name is Luke, and today I'm going to be talking about the scientific inaccuracies of the first Jurassic Park movie. This is going to be in a series, so I will make the other movies later on within this scientifically inaccurate series. So first off, we have the Velociraptors in the movies. They're way too big and way too smart to be real Velociraptors, so essentially they're way too scary. The raptors in the movie are around as tall as a grown man's, about six foot, where real velociraptors were around three foot tall. Now, there were some dromaeosaur dinosaurs that were that tall, but not velociraptors, and these are stated in the movie to be velociraptors. Also, they are a lot smarter than any other dinosaur was. The smartest dinosaur was known to be about as smart as a an opossum. Yeah. Next we have the Dilophosaurus, who is arguably the most scientifically inaccurate dinosaur in the entire franchise. The Dilophosaurus in this movie was small, around four-ish feet, when in real life it was a lot bigger than that. And of course, a lot of people have said maybe it's a baby, maybe it's not, and the Jurassic Park franchise hasn't really confirmed this. It has been seen both ways. Some things say it's a baby or juvenile, some things say it's a fully grown adult. I don't know, but I'm just going to say that it's inaccurate just because it's small and they haven't cleared that up. Also, it has a frill that pops out like one of those really freaky lizards from Holes, and there was no scientific evidence to support that Dilophosaurus had this. While there is no scientific evidence to the contrary that it had a frill like that, it is very, very, very unlikely because it's just as likely that a T-Rex had a frill like that. And also, the Dilophosaurus spits venom at its victims in these movies, where, again, it could have, but there's literally no scientific evidence whatsoever to support that. Next up, we have Tyrannosaurus rex, who is really very scientifically accurate with size and all that, but one thing they got wrong was its eyesight. Alan Grant tells them that the T-Rex can't see you if you don't move, but that really wasn't true. T-Rex actually had really good binocular vision and a large brain, so it, it could see you whether you're moving or not. Sorry about that. And last but not least, this well, okay, it probably is least, because this isn't really a scientific inaccuracy, per se, more of just a little nitpick that bothers me. When Dennis Netri is stealing the dinosaur embryos, you can see he's taking one of them is Stegosaurus, however, it in this it's spelled S-T-E-G-A-saurus instead of how it's actually spelled S-T-E-G-O-saurus, so, you know, spelled wrong. That's just one of my little nitpicks. If you enjoyed that video, subscribe because I'm going to be making more videos. You know, next up is the scientific inaccuracies of the Lost World, Jurassic Park, and if you want to see that, then subscribe so that you can see when it comes out. I also make tons of other different kind of videos, so check those out. See if, like, if you like my channel, and subscribe like this video so that I can continue to make more content just for you, and comment below and tell me what kind of videos you want to see me make. Hello, it is me, Alice the Magic Robot. I will now tell you a joke, but first, please like this video and subscribe and comment. Please do all thighs things so Luke won't fire me. Please. I have a family. Okay, wanna hear a joke? What happens when T-Rex crash their cars? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Get it? Rex? Ha 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 lol 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 I am so hilarious please subscribe so I can keep my job.